On this day in Southern labor history, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, black workers in the tobacco industry took a bold step toward workplace democracy that we can still learn from today. After enduring dangerous working conditions and poverty wages, they formed the United Tobacco Workers Local 22 of the Food, Tobacco, Agricultural, and Allied Workers of America. Their movement united black and white workers with a multiracial alliance from the larger Winston-Salem community. Organizing in North Carolina's tobacco industry started on June 17, 1943, with a sit-down strike at the R.J. Reynolds Company. The sit-down strike and actions that would occur after, primarily organized and led by black women who processed the tobacco, were instrumental in winning the workers' better conditions and wages. The coalition that tobacco workers brought together created a multiracial movement of unionists and civil rights activists activists fighting not only for the rights of working people, but also for the rights of black people. Despite their ultimate defeat, the spirit of the multiracial working class coalition formed by the local 22 tobacco workers in Winston-Salem reminds us of the power we have when we organize across social and economic divides.